Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Jaden Irwin, and today we're going to be going through a update to our Astro Sanity Minimal Starter. Um, you'll probably have seen some other videos that I've done on the starter. It is just that. It's Astro Insanity, and I try to keep the styles to a minimum. So it's really just the setup and structure that you need to successfully use Astro and Sanity together. Um, this one, we're actually going to be going through a update to our query language. Um, on the previous setup, or the current setup, it's actually using GraphQL. And if you're not familiar with GraphQL, definitely do some research on it. It's a great query language. Um, but I've actually had some experience, recent experience, with Sanity's Grok query language. And it's made by them, from what I understand. Um, it's awesome, and I'll be honest that it it's probably going to be my default going forward. Um, I just kind of come from that Gatsby background, so I set it up in a way that I could use GraphQL with Sanity. But I have played around with Grok, and I think that it's going to be my default from here on out. Um, I think there are still some strengths to GraphQL, um, but for most of the projects that I'm making, Grok makes more sense. So do some research on it. I will link this um, Sanity website with the Grok page on it. And then I will point out a great resource too to kind of get started on um, actually two resources. So this query cheat sheet would be the first one. Just take a look at that. They give you a lot of really great examples of how to do a specific query in Grok and how to do um, all kinds of things like uh, equal, not equal. You can set greater than or equal to on your date and time in the query. There's just a lot that you can do with um, Grok. And one of those examples I'm going to show is actually how to do the blog categories on the starter, which isn't set up in its current state. Um, what I'm going to do, though, is show you how to do that with just a couple, or actually one query, technically, with Grok. So let's go ahead and get started. We're going to hop into our starter here. And let's just go ahead and install real quick, just make sure we're up to date. Make sure I do that on the Astro side. And the first thing we want to do is install the Sanity client so we can use Grok successfully here. Um, and this is kind of an update in itself to switch over to the Sanity client. Our current setup, if you go over to our utils and go to the helpers file there, you're going to see that we have our Git Sanity content. And this is kind of a, a micro client, so to speak to use GraphQL. And what we're going to do is swap that out with this Sanity client package. So really to do that, we're going to go to our lib folder, go to our Sanity client file, and I'm going to rename this to config, because it's actually the config for our new client. We're going to import Sanity client from Sanity slash client that we just installed. And then let's export. And actually, we don't need to export that config. So let's just change that real quick. So export const client equals sanity client. And then we just pass in the config. Um, and then there's one missing piece to this current config setup, and that's the API version. Um, so I'll just avoid you from having to hit that error. We're going to add that real quick. Dot env. And then if we go to our env.template, we have this public Sanity API version. Uh, the default version is going to be v1. So let's just go ahead and set that in there. I already went ahead and did that in my .env. But let's copy that name of that env variable. And then we have our public Sanity API version. Perfect. So now we have this, the client set up, but we're not using it yet. So if I run this npm start, Perfect. If we go to our blog page, it's still going to work because it's using the GraphQL setup, right? But if I go into our pages and then blog and the let's start with the index page, you're going to notice that we're doing this get sanity client query all posts, right? And then const post equals response dot all post. So a little bit of gymnastics going on there to get to the data that we need from GraphQL. Um, there are some ways you could clean that up a little bit more, 
but um, this is actually going to be a little bit simpler with our new setup. So let's go ahead and import. We're going to swap out this import client from our lib folder. And let's delete that. Sanity client. .js. Yep, that's the name of our file. And then we're going to await the client. So we're kind of swapping this out one to one in a, in a sense. Client.fetch. So we're going to use the client packages fetch. And we're going to do all posts. But the problem is that all, quotes, all posts query is a GraphQL query. So I've gone ahead and just written the queries to save us some time. Maybe I'll do a video in the future explaining GraphQL in a little bit, or Grok in a little bit more depth. But I just went ahead and set these up. So let's just uncomment those two queries. And they're pretty straightforward. I can break them down pretty fast here. So type equals post, right? And then categories on that post um, object, right? Or that post response. We're going to go and get the slug and the title for each of those categories. And then this dot 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 is a spread, so we're going to get all of the other fields that the post offers. Um, and you can test this too. If we open up another um, terminal, let's do sanity, and we'll let that set up and run. I'll show you how you can test those queries as well. But let's go make sure our sanity client's good. We'll go to this index.astro, and we're importing all posts. So all posts from that API file. So we're swapping it out with our new fetch. And if we go here to our blog page, it's still going to be an error because let's just go ahead and console log our response. There we go. We've got all the data that we need. Scroll to the top of that. It is just an array. We don't have to do this response dot all post we can actually just rename this to all post data, something like that. And then we can go and use it. So swap this out, all post data. And there we go. We are using Grok now, just with a few changes to our current setup with GraphQL. So if we click on one of these, uh-oh, same issue, we've got to go and swap that out. So I do want to show you, though, how you can test these queries. So if we open up our Sanity project here, so once you open your Sanity project, you'll see that we have our desk, and then there's actually already been this Vision section here. And Vision is going to be the Sanity setup to, like, their playground to test Grok. So if we go back to our API here, we can go and take this. And I'll show you exactly what's coming off that query too here. So type equals post categories. For each category, we're making sure that we get the slug and the title. And then the order, pretty simple there, right? It's just a pipe. And we're saying on that query, we want it to order in descending order based on the published at field. So fetch. There we go. We've got all the data. It's just two posts, right? If we go back into our desk. I only have two posts set up there. And you'll see that there's all the data on each of those posts. It's published at right there, body and all of that. And then I already assigned two categories as well. So we have our um, queries working on the blog page, right? But if we click on one, it's still broken. So let's go in. We're going to go to the slug page. And we're going to do the same swap that we did. So import, we'll get rid of this, import right here. Import client from lib, and that's uh, sanity client.js. And then we're going to do await client.fetch. And we'll just delete that query. Perfect, client.fetch, and then we can take this, make that what our response is, and get rid of that second line. Same thing that we did in the first file. So all blog posts, all blog posts.map, and all of that should still work. And there you go. 
we have our blog post. Um, another thing that we need to change, notice that we're missing the body of the blog. In GraphQL, if we go back to our query, in GraphQL that's called body raw. And that's something that Sanity does to pass the raw JSON information for that body content. So we're going to go to the component. We're going to go to the blog post. And you can see this if you go back to Sanity and look at your fetch. With the grok setup, it is just called body. So we're going to go in here and just change this to body. And that fixes it. Perfect. So we have our body passing through. And then you might have noticed already, we have our categories as well. Astro and web development are the two categories for that post. Go to our other post. Astro is the one category on that. So that's perfect. Um, that was just a pretty simple section right here to do an unordered list and an individual list item for each category. So not too much work there added. But then if you'll notice that I already set up this category and this slug page too. And this is using GraphQL. So if you still want to use GraphQL and you're interested on how to do the categories, this is a great way to do it. Um, it's kind of one of the few ways that you could do it. Um, basically what I'm doing with the GraphQL setup is I have to do two queries. I have to query for all of the blog posts and then I have to query for all of the categories. And then I have to do a little bit of fancy for each and um, a map on those. So for each category, we have to add a post array and then we have to map through every blog post. And if that post has categories, then we have to add that post to the category array. Um, I won't go in too much detail there, but um, yeah, that is a GraphQL setup. Um, with the way GraphQL works, that's one of the ways that I found to do it. Maybe there's an easier way, but um, you're trying to merge two unrelated pieces together. And um, that's actually easier to do in Grok. And I'm going to show you here. So this is the setup for the category pages in GraphQL. And we're going to clean it up a little bit. So we actually already have a query set up for this. So all categories with posts. Oh, and we'll change that real quick. Just called category type equals post. Yeah, that's right. And let me close these out real quick. Perfect. And then actually, let's go test that query real quick. I had this working on another project, and I think I named the schema slightly differently. So let's just make sure that this is working. Perfect. So type equals category. And then for each category, we have a posts array. And you'll notice that we have posts. There's no posts on that category because there's nothing attached to photography. And then our type equals slug um, web development. There we go. We have posts. And we have one item, one single post that's attached to web development. So that is working exactly how we want. So let's go in here. We'll click on web development. And that's the one that we're going to test on. So let's go back to our category page. We're going to import all categories with posts. And we're going to get rid of that and replace it with our import client from this one's nested pretty far lib and sanity client.js. Perfect client.fetch. Sorry if I'm moving fast on this one. It's just kind of cut and paste on a lot of this too. Um, we're just doing it for each page. So dot fetch, and we're going to do the all categories with posts for that fetch. And we're going to call this um, all. We could probably call it what we're calling everything down here because you're going to see me delete a lot of code <laughs> that we don't need anymore. So let's just go ahead and delete that, that, and that, and that. <laughs> so all of that code is now replaced with a, I think we can comment that out. It's replaced with a pretty 
it's not a super long grok query, but it's also not a short one. Um, and let me make sure that I've got everything going here. So reading slug. And so this is a, another thing with GraphQL. We were having to do post.post .post because of the way that the data was coming back from GraphQL. So we can just pass post now. There you go. So all post tagged with web development. And it is just going to list all post tagged with that. Let's do Astro. We should see two tagged with Astro. And there you go. So two blog posts, why Astro, and then the Astro.21 preview. And yeah, that is it there. So you can see all of that code that we deleted just by switching to um, a Grok query. So let's go back here. I'm going to go back to Sanity. We'll go back to Vision. And there you go, just that query, right? It's doing what we were having to do in GraphQL for us because, and I'll break this one down pretty quickly, we have type equals category and then posts. We're creating a new array, again, just like we were in GraphQL, but we can do that here with Grok. We're creating a new array of posts on each category and then for the type equal post, right? And then references. So we're getting a reference for each post. And then if it matches the parent, that's what that little caret is. So if it matches the categories ID, right, then it will add it to that array. So it seems like it's magical, but it's it's really just this piece right here, this references. It can go and catch the reference for the post and then match it with the parent. So pretty cool. It took a little bit of experimenting to, to figure this query out, but um, I'm glad that it works. And um, it's just, yeah, all that code back in our API file, all of this code for the GraphQL query is now replaced with these two queries that are actually pretty small. Um, I would recommend giving Grok a try. That's really all I had for you guys today. It's kind of a quick one, but i just wanted to share my experience with Grok. I, I haven't used it personally that much. I gave it a try a while back and I wish I would have given it a little bit more of a chance. Um, it took a little bit for the syntax to click with me too. It is very different from um, GraphQL. It's different from other queries that I've done, but uh, I'm glad that I gave it a shot. So Give it a try. Uh, again, I'm keeping all the GraphQL code live. That is going to be in the um, the starter. If you go to the branch, there is a GraphQL branch. I'll keep that live. I'll actually go back to my first video and link it to the GraphQL version because that's basically where all that code is. But yeah, switching over to Grok with the Sanity client, and I don't think I'll be looking back. So. Give it a try. Let me know what you think about Grok. If you have any experience with it, uh, let me know. And yeah, I'll see you in the next one. Peace.